breaking the wall of alternative plastics. Joseph Bedard, Falling Walls Lab, Atlantic, Canada. Imagine a world without fossil fuels. It's a world without air pollution caused by the burning of these fuels. And it's a world without the political crises caused by the extraction of these fuels. But it's also a world without toilet seats. You see, toilet seats and 85% of all the synthetic materials we make come from petrochemicals, chemicals that are derived from the extraction of fossil fuels. Now, of course, we need to divest from fossil fuels for a green future, but where are we going to get our materials building blocks? Where are we going to get our toilet seats? It turns out that nature has an elegant solution. Right now, trees are taking CO2 molecules from the air and converting that into a material, wood. But there's just not enough CO2 in the atmosphere for all of our materials' needs. And we need to break the cycle of extracting and releasing and extracting carbon into our environment. So let's take a deep breath. That breath contains 78% nitrogen. It's the most abundant gas in our atmosphere. But the problem with using nitrogen, it just really doesn't want to become a material. In fact, when us crazy chemists try to do it, we tend to make things that explode. And I would think twice before sitting on a toilet seat that might explode. <laughs> so there's the question. How do we take a potentially explosive building block and convert it into petrochemical-free plastics? So I'm a chemist, and I think you can find answers on the periodic table. And that's where my research has led me to the key, phosphorus. It turns out that I can use phosphorus to lock nitrogen in a cage. And once the nitrogen is in a cage, it can exist with other cages, and it's stable. And I can use this to make plastics without petrochemicals. Let me sell you on the importance of nitrogen. This piece of plastic I'm holding right here contains 33% nitrogen from the air. Now, if I had told you that I had made this same piece of plastic without phosphorus, and let's just say half the nitrogen, you'd all have to hit the deck, because I would be holding TNT. So this little piece of plastic represents the realization of a revolutionary idea. If we stop digging in the ground for our energy, it turns out we can decarbonize not just our energy, but our materials. And with the help of a little bit of phosphorus, make plastics out of thin air. Thank you.